What's up world? This is Matt Landman coming at you from South Kingstown, Rhode Island. I'm going to take you through my 66 Shovelhead Chopper. I've got a bunch of interesting stories I want to share with you about the bikes and cool details. Uh, the first one starting with getting this motor. So about probably eight years ago, I went to a Walnex swap meet in Ohio with a buddy of mine, Gentry. We got a booth, we set up. Now those shows are on Sundays. So the setup's on Saturday where all the good horse trading goes down. So Saturday, the only thing that I needed from the whole show was a four-speed transmission, a ratchet top for my other bike. Found that, and then Gentry and I were talking, and I was like, you know what? If there is a generator shovel motor, I'm gonna buy it. So cool, figure I won't find it. Sunday comes, we're walking around. He walks up to me and says, I got bad news for you. There's a guy over there selling a 66 generator shovel motor, and the price is right. So I walk over, I talk to the guy, we settle on a price, but there's one problem. It's a Sunday, the banks aren't open, and I don't have that kind of cash on me. But the guy makes an awesome offer. He says, tell you what, I'll pull it off for being for sale. I'll give you one week. Drive out to my shop in Ohio. Next weekend, the motor's yours. So sure enough, we drove home, I thought about it. Went back to Brooklyn where I was living at the time. Sold a guitar of mine, got the cash together, and the next weekend we drove back out to Ohio another eight hours out there, bought the motor, tucked it into my back seat, drove home, here it is. All right, let's go through some of the details of the bike. Running a tail light and air cleaner from Boyle Custom Moto. Uh, the frame's an original 53 frame that my friend Herb sold to me for way too good of a price, so sorry and thanks Herb. Motor's an original 66 with these split rocker covers. Uh, the rocker covers are split all the way through, so they're actually four individual pieces. And for the oiling, my friend Nick Toscano ran these series of splitters so that the oil lines actually run individually into each rocker cover and avoid the need for that crossover from the front to the rear head. Getting into the tanks, these were definitely a labor of love. I wound up uh, narrowing two different sets of tanks. These are the ones I stuck with. They started their life as a Paco alien tank. Those are usually Frisco mounted, so I split them, dropped them lower, re-tunneled them, notched them to work over these rocker covers, and added that little crossover boy so the fuel actually flows from tank to tank. Running seat and pee pad by River Seat Company. Made the sissy bar to stainless steel and narrowed an early iron head fender. Now I built this bike when I was living in Brooklyn. I built it out of a small one car garage. So you can imagine from all the fabrication noise, I definitely made more enemies than friends, but it was worth it. Shifter knob was made by my friend Kim also. Love that thing. Got my mantra, this is choppers, not crybabies. I'm running a rocker clutch on this one. Well, thanks for checking out the bike. Hope to see you at a chopper show soon.